Hi everyone, it's Casey Williams. Well, a couple weeks ago when we had the Ford F-150, I mentioned it was about to get some competition. Well, that competition has arrived. It's the 2019 Ram 1500 Bighorn Edition. Let's go have a look at it. The Bighorn Edition is probably the model that most people will buy. It's not the base model, it's not the most luxurious, it's just right there in the middle. and kind of has the options and designs that I think most people really like. And that really starts with the exterior. I mean, you know it's a Ram. It's got the step-down fenders and the hood, big bull grill. Although I do miss the crosshair grill that the Ram used to have. But this, you know, looks more upscale, looks a little more refined. And there's a lot of detail in the grill, just the way the lines are. End in here, end in here. A lot of detail in the design, I think it's very well done. LED lights all the way around, headlamps, fog lamps, and also the tail lamps in the back. Let's come around the side. 18 inch alloy wheels. And again, not a lot of chrome, mostly blacked out like the mirrors and the window trim. It does have the 1500 logo for the Hemi right in the hood. No running boards. But what I really like about this though is the, is the crew cab version. And they've extended that box a little bit, so there's a lot of passenger space. I'll show you when we get inside, but you can really stretch out and have a lot of room in the back end of the truck. Come around the back. Again, just really nice details. Twin exhaust outlets. It's already pre-set up for the trailer hitch. The wiring's already pre-wired, which is nice. And unlike one of its biggest competitors, the only thing aluminum on the outside of this truck is the tailgate and the hood. Everything else is steel. But the nice thing about the tailgate being aluminum, you know, two fingers, you can pick it up, close it, very easy. And once you come inside, there's LED bed lights. You've got the rails here, you can tie things down, spray and bed liners already here, lights. You've got everything you really need to tow in a haul. There are gonna be several powertrains in the 2019 Ram. You'll be able to get a V6, you'll be able to get the Hemi V8, and you'll also be able to get hybridized versions of the V6 and V8. And there'll also be a diesel on top of that. So pretty much anything you want eventually. What we have today is just the straight Hemi V8, 5.7 liter engine. It delivers 395 horsepower, 410 pound-feet of torque. And it routes all that through an eight-speed automatic transmission. This has four-wheel drive, which I think is fantastic. And the truck also has some nice technology to improve fuel economy and to make the interior really quiet as it's doing that. So the truck has variable displacement, which means it can shut down cylinders to save fuel when it doesn't need all eight cylinders. It has some aerodynamic work that's really cool. The truck is already pretty aerodynamic in terms of design, but they have active grille shutters that close to divert airflow when you don't need it for engine cooling. It also has a lower spoiler underneath, of the, underneath the fascia that lowers down on the highway, again, to divert airflow. I think it's fantastic. So one of the things that can happen when you have variable displacement in an engine is you'll get a little bit of vibration and I'll get into the cabin. It's all good, but you feel a little bit. So they actually have a modulator that's attached to the body frame underneath and it actually counteracts those vibrations and cancels them out. So some pretty cool technology that only Ram has right now. They also have noise canceling inside, active noise canceling to, to squelch that noise inside the cabin. So when you drive the truck, no matter what the engine's doing, it feels pretty smooth. It sounds pretty smooth and it's a very nice truck to drive. You wouldn't normally think about the back seat of a pickup truck being all that exciting, but especially family considerations, you want to get friends in, you want to take a long drive, it really becomes important. And Ram has really got you covered there too. The seats, flip them up. The other seat, of course, flips up too. You just have a cavern of space back here. Lots of room, you can shove anything in here, you can haul. I can almost move an apartment in here. Another neat kind of innovative feature down below, the Ram bin. Little tub in the floor, there's one on the other side as well. You have wet gear, you have wet gloves, other stuff you want to store in here, your towing equipment, like towing chains and stuff, you can stow, store those in here if you really wanted to. But it's just really nice they've made use of all their space. And then once you get inside, and it might be nice to have some step bars, but at least there's a handle here. You can see there's a lot of space in here. I mean, the seats in front are set where the average person would want them, and plenty of room back here. And they've got some other nice features in here too. Four different USB ports over here, there's a 115 volt outlet, household plug, air conditioning vents back here, nice armrest, and just, just a really comfortable place to travel. So like I said earlier, the Bighorn Edition is somewhere between the base truck and, and the more luxury versions of it. But I think it really is the truck that most people will want when they go shopping for a pickup truck. You know, it doesn't have a sunroof, it's got, it's got cloth seats in it, and the center console, it's, got, it's actually really not a console. You've got cup holders here, you've got storage in here with pins and luxury storage. But when you pull this up, it's actually the third seat with a seat belt attached to it. 
So I think it's actually kind of decent. You've got everything you need here, but you can still get another passenger in here. You look at the dash, again, not a lot of fancy wood grain. You know, this is all hard plastic, but it looks really, really nice. And it's really convenient. Upper glove box, lower glove box, lots of space. There's a little wood grain up here, dark wood grain. In the center console, in the center stack, I think Chrysler does this as good as anybody. In fact, I think they do it better than anybody in the pickup trucks right now. Touchscreen is easy. They actually have a much bigger touchscreen that looks like something out of a Tesla. It goes all the way down. But this is kind of their standard touchscreen. I think it's really nice. And it's very easy to navigate. Icons on the bottom for radio, media, climate, and the phone settings are all here together. This car does not have navigation, but it does have Apple CarPlay, so you can run that off of your phone if you want to. And the way they do it is, you know, you've got a touch screen, you've got redundant controls down below, volume tuning, it's got automatic climate control, but you can adjust it here as well, or you can adjust it above, or you can do it by voice. So any way you want to control this thing, you can do that. And again, this doesn't have leather seats, but it does have heated seats. It does have a heated leather wrap steering wheel. So there's really some of those nice features on those very cold days. It all works out really well. Over here, the four-wheel drive settings are all together. You've got the dial for the gear selector. That's very easy to use. It does have a power rear window. And the sound system, you know, it's not the premium sound system, but it sounds pretty good. I think if you hadn't been listening to some really high-end sound system, you would think this is a high-end sound system. So again, the truck's just, it's just really well put together. It's nicely styled. It's well designed. Nothing fancy, but you don't really need it. You gotta like that Hemi, that's just great. And working with the 8-speed automatic transmission, powertrain's pretty smooth. 390 horsepower, 410 pound-feet of torque, I'll go into the four-wheel drive system with that 8-speed automatic. So it's really getting power where it needs to be. But the thing that I really notice about the Ram, kind of over other pickup trucks, even some SUVs, is it just rides smooth. You know, Ram has always done a really good job on the rear suspension, and they've continued to work on this one. And it just really modulates the shocks, it keeps the vibrations out, and when you go over bumps, it just stays planted. It feels more like a heavier SUV than a pickup truck, which can kind of get kind of wobbly on the, on the rough pavement. They've done a nice job with that. And we talked about it has a modulator that counteracts vibrations coming from the engine through the frame. And when you're inside the cabin, it really is just really quiet. It's smooth. Noise canceling is taking care of its things. And you can just tell the attention to detail to making it a refined, quiet place to spend time. And again, when you're on the road, the touch screen, very easy to use, big knobs, even if you have gloves on, you can change the climate control, you can change the volume, change the tuning, exactly the way it should be. I've got the center screen set to the, to the digital speedometer, again, just very clear, and just really just has what you need. And what I really, really do like about this truck, I like the space in the back. I feel like you can take your whole family, you can drive cross country, it's capable of pulling just about any trailer you want to pull with it. You can pull up to 12,750 pounds which is pretty good for what's essentially a half-ton pickup truck. Um, you also put 2,300 pounds in the bed, so you have a lot of capability. That's what Ram's really known for, is being able to pull big trailers and, and haul a lot of cargo, a lot of payload. And this isn't a super duty truck, so that's pretty good for, again, for what's a mid-sized truck. Pretty much anything you need to do, either just driving across town to pick up some supplies, throwing the bicycles in the bag, or taking the family across country, you can do it in this truck. I think as of today, Ram probably has the best truck on the market. And I think the Bighorn Edition is a good example of why. You know, it just handles well, it rides smooth, the interior is well equipped, but there's nothing over luxurious about it. The crew cab has plenty of space for at least four people, if not five or six in a pinch. It's aerodynamic, it looks good, and it's just a really enjoyable truck. And with all the powertrains that Ram is going to have, from the hybrids to the diesels and keeping the Hemi, I think it's only going to get better from here. But one thing we know for sure is that Ford will react and General Motors has brand new pickup trucks coming out this fall. So it's going to get more exciting as we go forward. Well, this particular truck, let's talk about it and talk about pricing. Ram starts just under $32,000. This one, as equipped, $49,120. Well, next week we'll have another fun car. Until then, storm forward.